Today I will show you how to change this little bit ordinary photo into this a lot more interesting photo. So let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. Today as you already saw in the intro we will change this ordinary woman's face photo into some crazy fun text face photo. But for that we will need displacement map. What is displacement map? Well, basically it's depth map in Photoshop that tells Photoshop information about the image depth. For example, if we have this plane and this plane represents 50% gray color, everything what is darker than 50% gray, it's in 3D world like hole down below, it's going down below. And everything what is brighter than 50% gray, it's going above that plane. It's going into 3D world. All right. And now let's jump straight into Photoshop and let's have fun. Right guys, today we will have fun with this interesting photo of, of this woman, as you already saw it. And first what we need to do to, is to make this placement map. For that we need only information about lights, we don't need information about the color. And we will change this image into the black and white, for example, like so. And we will use the curves to make this image a little bit more contrasty, like like so, it's it's enough. All right, and now let's merge everything together with, you already know, Shift Control Alt T or Shift Command Option E on a Mac. And let's blur this photo. Why am I blurring this? By Because I don't need information about the texture. I only need information about the shape here. And let's blur the texture. Something like, something like so, maybe even more, maybe 50 or 60. 15, 16, something like so, that's okay. And let's save this file, save as, and save as displacement map. I already saved it before, but I will overwrite it. All right, that's nice. The next thing what we need to do is to create that fun text for our image. For that, I will use the word cloud and I will leave the link into description down below. So let's jump onto this website. As you can see, this is the website and you have a few options here. You have predefined text here. You can put your own poem, text, anything you want, uh, phrases, etc, etc. This is already text that it's uh, by default on this website and I will use that text because this is just for example. And you have some options here. First you have a number of angles different angles that you want to have in your image. I want to have only two angles because I want only horizontal and vertical text. Okay, and I want one uh, angle to be zero degrees and another angle to be 90 degrees. All right, and I want to be re rectangular here. And that's great. You can press go here a few times to find the best uh, text position as you want because it's a random generator, something like so. And when you're ready, just go here and download as SVG. When you download that, just go and put it back into Photoshop. All right, then you need to open this text in Photoshop. And as you can see, this text is already extracted from the background. You will have the same effect. And now we need to make this text completely white. So let's duplicate this with Control Command J, just in case we mess something up. And now we first need to convert this text in black and white. For that, I will use the shortcut key on the keyboard, Shift Control U or Shift Command U. And now this text is completely black and white. And let's use the levels to readjust that, Control Command L, and just pull this all the way to the left. And now we have completely white text. Let's copy this text and let's go back to this document and paste it here. Okay, now I need to rename it. I will rename it to displacement displacement text like so. And I will for a moment hide that and I will erase this, this image for displacement map because we don't need it anymore. I will erase that layer. All right, we will need only this one. But before we go and apply displacement map on this text, on that text, we first need to extract this woman out of the background. So let's do really quickly with a quick selection tool here. And this selection really doesn't need to be perfect because this selection will behave as a silhouette for, 
for our image something something like so let me see and just make a mask and then just use a black brush and black and white brush and just readjust that a touch let me see i need 100 percent strength all right and something like so let me use white brush and readjust this this is really just as a silhouette it doesn't need to be perfect okay and let me see just this part here great that's really really nice then i will duplicate that just in case and i will apply layer mask right and let's go to the displacement text and let's add some shadow on that text because we want to have impression of the depth of, of that text right Let's double tap on this layer or double click on this layer and go to the drop shadow option. And I will use 90% angle, that's nice. Let me see size of that. Something around 10, it's okay. Let's zoom it right. Distance. This is just your own preference. You can make anything you want here. That's that's okay. Let's say okay and let's duplicate that and have this as a backup version let's put it down below and create a group and rename backup all right the next thing what we need to do is to rearrange this text to cover whole face of this woman let's press ctrl command t rotate it holding shift and make it smaller and let's do something interesting for example put this one over here then just copy i will use this move tool and hold out the option key on the keyboard and just move it and copy that here then i will uh, i will overlap the text here with the previous one because we will have impression that this text is over this down below text and that will add that depth effect to to the final image you will see later but use this overlap uh, overlap effect right then copy here we can rotate it like so make it even smaller all right and now everything is just copy paste and overlapping be sure to overlap that because later it will be better all right we can make this even a little bit bigger maybe put it over here right then put it here let's flip it horizontal just play with that just have fun let's rotate it like so put it down below maybe here and make it smaller something like so maybe then let's duplicate it make it even smaller put it here okay then another one here another one here then let's put it somewhere here then let's go to the most uh, higher layer this one oops sorry let me see okay then duplicate with Control command j and let's cover some holes here that's nice duplicate it again maybe put it here you need to choose the amount of uh, these layers the number of these layers to have a little bit danced image but not too dense you will see try experiment and you will find the right right number of these layers for you all right and now when we did all this when we reposition all these layers let's uh, click on the first one and let's go all the way down below click on the last one and press ctrl or command e to merge everything into the one layer as you can see here all right and let's add one one black layer down below fill it back and that's really great and let's fix this a little bit because i didn't do i didn't sew this because i didn't have a background layer but it's okay it doesn't change anything all right and now what we need to do is to go here and to load displacement map on this text actually we need to reshape this test text a little bit to make it uh, this part that it's under the nose 
to go down below, this part to go a little bit up of the forehead, etc., etc. This part of the nose to go a little bit up about that 50% gray plane, etc., etc. You will see in a moment. As you can see now, if I zoom, everything is in one plane. And if I go with the text layer selected, I go to the filter, distort, distort, and go to the displays here, and I have displays the dialog box. Those numbers are horizontal or ver vertical scale, and I will leave at 10. The higher number is, the more stretched image will be. Play with that to experiment, that depends on the image size. For this, I think the 10 will do the job, or maybe a little bit more, but we will leave now for 10. Uh, displacement map, stretch to fit, and uh, this repeat edge pixels. All right. And just press OK, and you will have another dialog box to load choose the displacement map and I will choose my displacement map as you can see bef before and after see before and after and you will see even better the effect when I do something in the next step that will be to load this selection with uh, holding control command key and load that selection as a layer mask on this layer down below just press on layer mask that's great as you can see now especially the nose part, this is a little bit up, then this goes like this down below, etc, etc. Sorry, what's happened here, all right. And let me see, this part it's nice, this part it's nice, that's really nice, around the lips, it's displaced a little bit, it's curved. Here it's curved, that's really, really nice. Maybe I can put the higher number, let me just See, let's undo a few more times, right? Let me see the text, it's in one plane, great. And let's go here, filter, distort, displace. And if I put maybe 13 by 13 and load this displacement map, it will be a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit better maybe. And then let's uncheck this load the selection and put it here as a layer mask yeah now it's even better as you can see it's even better just play with those numbers go a few times undo a few times and put some other numbers to see which which combination it's the best for your image you can download of course this image and play with this one but try experiment with another image too okay and now when we did this we already displace the text and then load that text as a layer mask here. We need to go to the next step. The next step will be to stamp all visible layer in, layers into one. Go to the topest layer here, press shift Control, alt e or shift command option e on a Mac and step, stamp everything into one layer. And put this layer all the way up under uh, over the displacement text layer here. And we only have one step to finish our image. Let me zoom a little bit to show you that. We need to reveal this displacement text layer. We don't have effect now. I just want to see, show you before and after, before and after, nothing happens. And we need to put this text, uh, this layer into the multiply or linear burn blending mode. Depends of the effects you want to achieve. I like linear burn blending mode and see now the effect when I put into linear burn blending mode. Beautiful. Before and after. Before all these things that are overlapping are now shown on the image. As you can see, we made really, really nice effect. We can do something else here for this image. We can uncheck all of this and hide this layer mask and then go to the highest layer and stamp all visible layers into one and then return to the previous situation, put this all the way up, put the black layer mask by holding alt option here and press the layer mask and go to the eyes part here. And we can put back her eyes in the scene. Let me see. Like so, let's use a little bit softer brush and let me reveal the eyes here. This one and this one. And then you can play. You can maybe do something like so or it's even too much you can go and play only with the, these parts 
and maybe use even a lower opacity brush and paint this part too like so etc etc and now you have this interesting image see before and after before and after a little bit we recovered a little bit of this ice and that's basically it guys you don't need to uh, do this with the text you can do with something else with some i don't know flowers for example but you need a silhouette of things that you want to put it i did already with the flowers just to show you and this is with the flowers as you can see if i zoom it you see a lot of tiny flowers over her and this is just the silhouette of the flower and i made it manually i use one flower transform it into silhouette or go to the web and find the silhouette of the flowers or any other objects and just rearrange it by yourself in photoshop like that text and then just cover whole image and repeat the process all right let me show you once again this is with the flowers this is with the text both effects are great you can put something else too you don't need to use those two things and that's it guys you can even change the background color if you don't like this black background just put this layer into screen blending mode and put some color background layer down below to change it but otherwise that's it for today i hope that you understand this tutorial and i hope that you really find it helpful because you can do a lot of creative stuff with that you don't need to use letters or flowers like i did today you can use maybe i don't know music notes to make some fun music photo or you can use some other symbols you don't need to use uh, you don't need to make these symbols or flowers or text so dense like i did today try experiment with that and you will create some great effect of course like always if you have some questions please leave it down below and i will be glad to answer them see you next week in the next fun episode bye bye you like those tutorials great that's good then please click on my face to subscribe it no not here down below yeah down below thanks see you next week in the next episode bye bye